the online course Learning to Read, Spell and Write in Foundation, Developing the Skills for Success. This is a practical course. It outlines how to effectively implement PLD Structured Synthetic Phonics Program within the Foundation school year. The course outlines what to teach throughout the year, when and how to screen, how to report on student progress and how to cater for that range in ability. Now there are advantages of the online course. It is possible to view within instalments, largely instalments one and two reflect semester one and instalments three and four semester two. The course is approximately four hours in length, but the course can be viewed again and again over a period of three months. It is possible also to view the training in small groups. Now, once completed, there, there is further support that can be accessed through the PLD office and this will be explained later within the clip. It is imperative that educators working within the foundation school year develop a detailed understanding of early literacy acquisition. Without a detailed understanding, a teacher will not be able to deliver quality instruction. Now, the pathway into literacy that is outlined in the course is that pre-literacy skill development comes first. The teaching of pre-CVC skills and then students will then merge into decoding first, spelling second and writing third. The pathway can, into literacy can also be viewed that there are two primary skills that facilitate decoding. There are three primary skills that facilitate spelling and there's a range of skills that facilitate writing. Within the course, the PLD programs will be explained. The how to deliver explicit, targeted, short, snappy teaching will also be explained within the course. Importantly, firstly and early in the year, ideally pre-CVC skills need to be explicitly targeted in a repetitive manner. So to, to develop decoding, there are two primary skills. Skill number one, Alphabet sound recall, not letter names, not uppercase, but lowercase sounds. There's a t, there's a a, and there's a p. And the second skill, the phonemic awareness skill of blending and being able to combine those m, mm, a, ah, p, mango. <laughs> um, the ability to say the sounds and then to blend them together. No, m, mm, a, ah, p together makes the word map. Once pre-CVC skills have been sufficiently developed, it is then appropriate to start facilitating early decoding, early spelling, and then into the early writing for these young learners. Drawing from the downloadable foundation teaching sequence manuals on the PLD website, the course outlines term-by-term -term teaching sequences, as well as full year overviews. The PLD screening and tracking is central to the PLD process. Term one, teaching as well as tracking the progress and the skill development in pre-decoding skills and terms two, three, four, looking at decoding and reading ability. Now, the, the results from the reading screens should then drive and determine the type of decodable reading books that are presented to students. In a similar way, Term 1 looks at pre-CVC spelling skills and the explicit development of those skills, but then Term 2, Term 3, Term 4, there are short progress checks targeting spelling ability and the skill development there. Inevitably, there will be a range in ability within the class and within the course, it will outline how to cater for that range of inability. Reporting on student progress is central to the PLD process and using the PLD tracking sheets. Entering the percentages and the alphabet scores is only part of the PLD process. 
in terms of reporting. What teachers need to do is then cluster the higher ability, the average students, the, the lower students together in targeted groups, and then to explain what is the implementation plan for that group of students over the term, term ahead. Now, following this course, there's lots of support that is offered through the PLD site and through the PLD office. Questions can be asked, but also many teachers require assistance with the tracking sheets and with establishing the targeted teaching plan and the implementation plan for that term ahead. It is hoped that with this learning that educators will be in a position to more effectively deliver PLD structured synthetic phonics targeted teaching to the students within their care. If you found this information useful, don't forget to click the subscribe button and check out our related videos shown here. If you have any questions or feedback, please add them to the comments below and we'll be sure to respond. Otherwise, you can reach us via live chat on our website, pld-literacy.org. Thanks again for viewing.